Hey, welcome everyone. This video, I just thought I'd shoot quickly uh, before I recharge these batteries. They um, got 24 volt, two 12 volt batteries in series there to make 24 volts, and um, they're supposed to be uh, stopped at the 24.2 mark. So that's where we're at now. So I'm going to um, stop this. But I just thought I'd quickly uh, demonstrate the oscilloscope shots, which are interesting. Uh, with and without a capacitor. So this is a circuit we had in the last video um, well, Maybe the video before that perhaps a Tesla pancake coil and we've got uh, Just a wireless transfer from the bottom coil there, which is a, a, pan a Bifiler pancake coil and then in between that we've got we've got two three coils that are just a single coil, single wind, um, single wire, and those are all connected in series, and then connected in series with the top coil, which is a bifiler uh, coil again. So, and it's to match the the top one matches the bottom one, and then the three in the middle, um, yeah, three in the middle are. Uh, all a single wire coil so um, that's just operating this light um, as I said I'll try and do this quickly because uh, these batteries need to be disconnected now and recharged so we're consuming 51.5 watts running a 72 watt light bulb uh, it's an AC AC uh, wave, from what I can tell. Um, here we've got uh, 212 volts on the output AC wave. It's a sine wave. When you get right down, you know, in close on the frequencies. But so, as I said, this just wants. I wanted to show uh, the difference between this homemade capacitor and not so I've got it wired up uh, coming to these two jumper leads here so at the moment that is no capacitor so we've got 215 volts 18 point 18.9 on kilohertz and now if I add the capacitor Now we've got 223 volts, 17.29 kilohertz. So we get a small reduction in frequency and a small increase in voltage. But it changes the scope reading significantly. So um, I'll just show you one other uh, reading on the scope. So this is the finer end of of uh, so at, at the start of this wave here well they're individual waves but yeah at the start of these these this section of wave uh, so if we go down to that fine tune you can see it's quite an interesting wave and then so we'll go that's capacitor off and we'll go capacitor on again So this is a very basic instrument that I, I'm using for an oscilloscope. I'd basically uh, do my work without the requirement of expect expensive equipment to tell me what I can see with my eyes. I can see that adding this um, capacitor to the light, adding the capacitor to the circuit, uh, definitely changes the lighting um, you know by adding it or taking the capacitor in and out of the circuit it definitely changes it so um, you know my iPad showing some sort of weird frequency lock okay 
So <laughs> I'll, I'll stop this now and deal with that. We're consuming uh, 51.68 watts. I always like to go on the higher reading, um, to be fair. Um, so as, as this voltage decreases, um, the wattage consumption should increase. But my main purpose here was just to show everyone uh, the weird the weird uh, oscilloscope reading as well as um, just the difference between capacitor. So that's no capacitor. Now we've got capacitor. No capacitor. And capacitor. So yeah, different. Uh, I'm going to do some more work with this circuit uh, in the next couple of days. Um, in the last video showing this circuit, I suggest it could be used as a heating device. Um, and so rather than make suggestions that uh, people might not feel confident on what exactly how they, they can achieve that, I, I went out and bought a pot. A, um, I think it's like, it's a small pot, it cost me $10. Um, and a stainless steel pot, it's 7.6 liters or something like that. Um, so I'm going to place this heating element inside uh, a pot full of sand. So I've already filled the pot with sand. I'll go and uh, I'll remove this now and uh, put the batteries on charge. Uh, if you've got any questions, if there's anything you're interested in, don't hesitate to ask. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.